Hey my Squidlings, it's Katie here, and I have an exciting unboxing for you guys today. So I bought a mystery box off of eBay, and this is not any mystery box, this is an art supply mystery box. So what I plan on doing is using the art supplies in this box, no matter what they are, and creating something with it. Alright, so without further ado, I suppose we could just go ahead and cut this open. Alright, now that the box is open, oh it's nice, they gave us a note. Some of these are rare drawings no one has seen. Please take care of them uh, for me and enjoy. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. So, uh, first, they sent us some of their art, which I think is really cool. It's a little creepy, but that's okay. So, we've got a <laughs> Mickey Mouse with uh, tearing his face off. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. There are a few more in here. There is a walrus with a what looks like a bionic arm. And I think there's one more in here. Yeah. Oh, this is upside down. Um, it's just kind of like their logo and stuff, which I think is really cool. It's in this spray painty texture, and I really like it. Oh, we still got more art in here. Dang. So we've got... This seems to be the only one that is in here. It is a King of Diamonds, um, like, print, which is really nice. Oh, we got more art. This looks to be original. So we've got a fishbone bones art, and we've got a, a rose skull art. That's really cool. We got some professional package in here. <laughs> oh, and then we got a, actually some a lot of art supplies. All right, so I'm just going to kind of jump in here, grab the supplies, let you know what they are, and then we're going to make something with this. So first off, we've got... Some De La Rowney Black India ink. Then we've got a couple of paintbrushes. These do look used, but that's okay. Used paintbrushes still work. We've got a package of unused paintbrushes still in the package. We've got a set of erasers. So there looks to be two white erasers and a kneadable eraser. A pencil sharpener, which looks like it's going to go with all of these unsharpened pencils in here. So these are a bunch of Prismacolor Varathin pencils in various colors. I've actually never used a Prismacolor Varathin, so this will be really interesting, and they're all brand new because they're all unsharpened. So I'm really excited to kind of play with these and see what I think of them. We've got a Simply, oh this is a Daler Rowney Simply sketching pencil in HB. And then lastly, we've got a couple of Prismacolor liners in what seems to be black. There's a 005 and a 05, so I'm really interested to actually use these. I think I only have one Prismacolor liner, and I, it's in red, and it's in a color I don't usually use, so I'm really excited to get black ones. So here's everything that we got in the box as far as art supplies are concerned. So I'm only going to be using these, so if I need to sharpen these pencils, I'm going to be using the sharpener or not my sharpener, and so on and so forth. So I'm not even going to be using anything that's not outside of here because, I mean, I got erasers, I got a pencil, I got everything I need to make something, so I'm really excited. Just to let you guys know, I spent about $13, including shipping, on this box, and the box said it was worth about $20. Um, I don't really know because most of the stuff I don't purchase. I do know the Prismacolor supplies are not cheap. Um, the paintbrushes are kind of cheap, and so are the Daily Rowney stuff, but that's okay. Uh, I still feel like I got my money's worth, whether it was worth 20 or 13 so I'm not upset about it, and I'm really excited to see what I can create with them. So let's just go ahead over there, and let's see what we can create with these supplies. Alright, so I started out by opening all the packages that need opened, and then I go on to sharpening the pencils, and then I go right into swatching the colors. So I started out with India ink, and I'm just swatching them out just to kind of get a feel for the colors that I actually got in this and see how the Prismacolor liners work, see if everything worked as uh, I hoped it would, which thankfully everything did. I did not have any problems with any of these items. Uh, I have expected the Prismacolors to be dry. So this is actually a sketch of my first attempt, but I thought I'd go ahead and include it because the second attempt was just changed over with a light box. I used different paper, but for this sketch, I am using watercolor paper. And I thought it would be really cool to draw, like, a mushroom girl. I was inspired a long time ago 
by a persona and I thought it'd be really cool to kind of do something with that inspiration today and um, it, she's kind of naked but not really because she ends up having like a spider web dress on you'll see that in a minute I couldn't get her leg right so <laughs> I'm constantly erasing but I thought it'd be really cool to actually draw something that's not a character bust and do a little bit more with it um, and you can see I'm adding that spider web dress in right now so yeah but in a second you'll see that after I sketch this and add like all the mushrooms and stuff that it switches over to a different paper which is Bristol and um, I don't know the first one and I will show the first one later in the video but I the first one I just didn't pick the right colors I didn't pick the right paper it was just something that I should have paid more attention to and I didn't and I ended up regretting that so that's okay I like sharing my failures as well as my successes with you guys so um, you know don't ever give up on your drawings if you mess up because then it makes you sad <laughs> Um, especially because I like this concept so much, so I really wanted to do something with it. So after I get this sketched in, um, again, I transferred it with a light box, but I still used the same pencil to transfer it with. I just didn't film it because filming a light box is just tedious enough. And I decided to swap the skin tones from the original. So uh, the first one, she had a blue skin tone with yellow mushrooms. And this one, I decided to do a yellow skin tone with blue mushrooms because I liked the contrast. I just didn't like the way I colored the skin. I don't know. I'm still not super uh, good at coloring dark skinned anything, so I need to work on that. But for now, um, I'm going in with the red to add some shading and um, the yellow. <laughs> at first, she looked like a Simpson and it was really funny, but after I added the shading, it was a lot better. So then uh, after that, I do the blue mushrooms and I decided not to outline this. My first picture, I outlined everything and then colored it. This one, I stuck to what I know and I did the pencil lines, colored it, then added the outlines afterward. So as far as this mystery box is concerned, I think that it was really good. Um, I'm surprised that I didn't get scammed. I'm happy that I didn't get scammed. And I, I had fun using this. It was a nice little challenge to use some supplies that I had never used before. And um, it was almost like a cheap art supply challenge because I do know some of the stuff is a little bit on the cheaper end. It's stuff that you can buy at Walmart. So it's kind of convenient for you to just kind of go and grab. And I really liked that I got something out of it that I was really happy with. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this mystery box. What do you think? Do you think it was worth it? Uh, I think it was worth it, but that was just my opinion. So now I'm shading all of those mushrooms, and this piece is titled Mushroom Bride. Um, she has like a crown of mushrooms, and you'll see in a minute that like there are spider webs coming off at her head as like a veil. And then her dress is a spider web kind of dress because I'd imagine she's like of the forest and so you know spiders make their webs and so she's kind of an old mushroom feature of the forest. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, and so that's just naturally what has come about. She's been covered in spider webs but uh, it actually made her more beautiful because she is now mushroom bride so I don't know <laughs> and then you can actually see there is a spider that is kind of hanging from the veil onto the dress and I thought that was a cute touch I also gave her gloves in the first picture I didn't give her gloves and uh, I thought it added a nice touch to the um, the color because it's kind of like monochrome plus color so I thought it was a nice touch to kind of break up a little bit of that color um, and then the first one I also added this weird green background and I just I didn't with that this one I left it white and I actually really like the way this <laughs> went with that uh, I do cheat and use a white gel pen I'm sorry I cannot live without my white gel pen so um, sorry if you think that's cheating my bad <laughs> Uh, so now I'm taking that really thick Prismacolor liner and outlining all of the outlines, like the, the furthest outlines, and then I go in with the detail pen and I do all the inner lines with the thin pen. So I think that I like, like, the contrast between the thick lines and the thin lines doing that. It makes the art pop, in my opinion, so... I don't know. Uh, and then I'm lining all the mushrooms and then I add some really brief streaky lines into the, uh, the veil part and you'll see me add gel pen in a second. Uh, this piece was really fun and I was just really happy that I was able to create something with these supplies that I really liked. So 
Yeah, so uh, we're nearing the end of the video and I'm about to show you both this finished piece and the other finished piece side by side. Let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to thumbs it up and don't forget to subscribe to become a part of our squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on when I upload new videos. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!